Right, in this uh, short video I'm going to show you how you can import templates from other versions of Bryce. This is uh, Bryce 7.1 I'm using here. Um, but you can import templates um, from previous versions of Bryce and I've got quite a few templates that I've made in version 5.5. .5. So if I go into the folder here, these are um, some new templates saved in Bryce 7. But if I drop down here, we can go down to Bryce 5 files. And as you can see, I've got quite a few here. Um, let's choose this one. And I'm going to resize this so it's easy to see the full view. I'm just going to the document setup. There we can see it a bit easier. You can see it's rendering in two passes here to try and give it like a uh, better resolution. That took 16 seconds, but you can actually uh, speed up things. If you go to the render option and go to quality, you can set it to default. That means it'll just render in one go, one pass. Quality won't be so good, but it'll be a lot quicker. So if you're setting up a scene, that's one of the things you can do to speed things up. Now sometimes when you're working on a composition and moving models about um, uh, with the edit controls, you might find that a model might disappear from view. Uh, for example, let's say you're moving it, um, repositioning it, and then uh, it's gone out of view slightly there and then obviously you can't see it but if you go to the field of view option and move out you can see there it is so you can move it back into the scene um, and reposition it where you want it and then you can zoom back in again Just see what that's like it's a little bit too high up there. But it only took four seconds to render. So um, I'll just pull it back down a little bit, re render it. But I pref personally prefer um, want to move in a bit more. So getting near to back where we were. I could turn that around a little bit for a different composition. Okay, now <coughs> to save time in rendering um, another way is to, if you just want to do, like re-render a small area, or if you're changing the materials on an object, um, let's so we change it to uh, that one there. You can use the plop render to just render a small area like that. Let's see how quick that was, a lot quicker. And if you don't like it, well, you can change it back to something different. Let's try that one. And again, we use just use the plop render and change the material. We'll go back to the original one. Now we can move that back and we can turn off the plop render so that's not visible. So these are just a few of the small uh, features that I use in Bryce, and there's a lot more. Um, and I'm going to show you some of the features which I regularly use in uh, in Bryce in other videos.